Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. That means guaranteed Team of the Season SBC is here. We got both of them in the code earlier tonight. Again, Footwatch tweeted out we're getting both SBCs. Again, it seems to be this is the new normal uh, for these guaranteed Team of the Season SBCs. We got the Bundesliga and the Liga Nos both added to the code tonight. And interestingly enough, nothing added to the code pack-wise um for the icon refresh stuff that is supposedly coming today i'm going to talk about that a little bit today and just talk about like buying some cards out of packs in forms out of packs bundesliga stuff and especially watching those prices today and kind of talking you through what you could look for and what you could see with some of those cards today on the market because i myself i'm really interested in buying some cards uh, i've got a comb on it verner Lewandowski, a lot of these guys uh, that have gotten into team of the season, I feel like, um, are going to be good risers this week. There's a lot of cards that I feel like could be good risers this week. Um, looking around the market, I'm not going to talk about a ton of specific ones. You'll see me look up random cards throughout the video, but the thing I mostly want to talk about is just, are you going to see panic to morning this morning? And is that going to be a buy point? And what does panic mean? Because the biggest thing coming today is, uh, the guaranteed tots SBC that's what I would say. But the, the biggest thing coming is the guaranteed TOTS Bundesliga SBC. Because right now, yes, we're talking about the whole um, the whole icon refresh thing. But it doesn't seem to be like there's going to be much hype with that, at least for right now. Um, and the guys that we're going to figure out what's happening with that promo tomorrow or whatever's happening with icon refresh, those are going to be the people that will panic sell in the morning. So think about it this way, right? If we see panic selling today on the market on out-of-pack special cards like you know, a shapeshifter uh, in Babu or, you know, just across the market. If there's panic selling on these cards and just across the market panic selling, that would tell me that there are people in this game or, you know, some maybe some of the guys on Twitter that have leaks that are telling their discords like, hey, there's stuff coming out, so you should sell. If you see panic selling in the morning, that would tell me that something big is coming because when people see codes the people that see codes on twitter and the people that are going to be panic selling for something like this are the hardcore players that, that have leaks that are part of discords that are on twitter you know that see that kind of stuff you know like when we have the party bag sbcs and when we have the panic selling from stuff that goes in the code that is because of the hardcore user base that is on twitter if there's something big that is coming at 6 p.m uk today and there's panic selling in the morning then that would tell me that something actually big is coming based on what the ever leaks or what stuff people know if there's a lot of panic uh and that would that would maybe deter me from wanting to buy cards pre 6 p.m uk before i actually saw what the content was because then if the casual see something icon related that would be a big thing for me i think if, if the casual saw something icon related come out on this game i think that would be that would cause a lot of panic and a lot of selling on the market. And that would, um, I mean, you see like the icon swaps this year and like the mid icon packs, the base icon uh, upgrade packs, those have so much hype because everybody in this game loves those and wants to do those packs. Um, so if there's panic selling this morning, again, I think that's going to tell me that people that are panic selling are um, maybe some of the more educated players. They know something big is coming. And if you see that panic selling, stop and wait i would not buy the panic until like 6 p.m uk ish uh is honestly what i'm thinking for today now what kind of cards do you want to look to pick up regardless of whether you're buying in the panic or if there's really not any panic today and um we don't see many prices move in uh, the morning time regardless of that the guaranteed sbc is going to come out today you're probably going to see a little bit of fodder rise you know maybe in like the 86 range um, because I would expect the guaranteed SBC probably to be 86 or 87 rated. And I hope that it's 86 rated 86 is right now on the market. Aren't that expensive. Um, but again, you have to think about a lot of people for an 86 rated squad. What are they going to use to complete this squad? We have had three works, three weeks of team of the seasons now where people have had the ability to stock their clubs full of high rated, um, team of the season from upgrade packs, from getting reds, from weekend league rewards, from doing objectives and SBCs. A lot of people have high rated team of the season. So again, that's why you're seeing a lot of the 84s, 85s inflated, even the 83s, because people don't need 
the 87s and 88s really because what SBCs are requiring that higher rate of, of squads right now? Literally nothing or not much. And um, most of the, the hype that has come out recently, a lot of the squads and SBCs have been 84, 85, or 86 rated, which people can easily do with these lower tier cards because they have high rateds in their club from just getting team of the season cards and objectives and stuff. That's why you're seeing these, these guys go up. Do these guys go up a little bit more tomorrow? I think there's a possibility they could. If you need to get some 84s or 85s to your club, I would say you probably want to snag them before the SBC comes out because there's going to be a surge in them right after that SBC does come out. If it is 87 rated today, you might see the 86s bump up a little bit and the 87s bump up a little bit, but I would say, you know, maybe buy one or two if you think it's going to be that rating. Otherwise, I don't know if I'd really mess with that too much because it's just going to be guaranteed Bundesliga SBC. Yeah, you could get Leva, Holland, Sancho, Royce, Werner, but other than that, you know, maybe a Davies, Gnabry, or uh, Upamakano. I said Gnabry incorrectly, by the way. Gnabry, all right? I know how to pronounce his name. It's not Gnabry, it's Gnabry. All right, I got that. Um, it just doesn't feel that hype. That's why I feel like it should be 86 rated, but uh, that's the main content again for today. And after this SBC comes out today, what do we see every single week, especially with some of these guys? that are very rare on the market. Like this Timo Werner card is very rare on this game. Uh, the 80, their 97 Tots Werner bounces around a ton in price. If this guy drops like 50, 60K tomorrow, gets closer to 1.3 flat, that's a big buy for me. I mean, if you wanna buy any of the high tier, top tier Tots cards, uh, you are reaching your time to buy these. Absolutely, you're reaching your time because um, a lot of these cards just go up after the guaranteed and that's why we buy the out of pack specials before or around the time of the guaranteed pack because what happens is when people get their guaranteed pack pool they start to go out plot their team and even since people are smarter with the market these days they even just go out and start to buy cards and build their teams regardless because they just know this stuff is going to go up after weekend league rewards and they just go out and start buying cards so that's why we really want to be quick today if we see panic in the morning Maybe be careful with it until 6 p.m. UK, but around 6 to 7 p.m. UK, look to see if there's any panic around the market on these other Bundesliga specials, and then maybe you look to go in there. Again, what kind of cards do you want to look at? Out-of-pack specials. I like right wings, right backs, left backs, uh, right wings, left wings, right backs, left backs, and cheaper strikers. This Mateus Cunha is already up in price a little bit. The lower level uh, informed Lewandowski's and the lower level uh, Hunter's. Hunters. Hunters and Verners, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of interested in those. I mean, this guy, this Mateus Cunha, was 100,000 coins earlier this week. There's a lot of people investing in these cards. I still think they're going to rise. I mean, just look at some of the rises. Like, this guy, I don't think I'm going to buy him because he's already 130. He was 100k last weekend. If I saw him at, like, 115, then I would pull the trigger. Um, but I'm kind of interested in, like, uh, Lucas Hernandez or... The Costa, because those guys have really not risen up like that much. I think the Costa, at his absolute cheapest, was like 140, right? And he's hit 150 at, at some point during the day the past two days. Now, right now, he's like 160K. He's up a little bit, you know, but 157. If I could see like one undercut here at 150, I think I would snag that because he's got the German links, and the German links are going to be huge again this weekend. So, focus on again what I talked about earlier in the week. Bayern, Dortmund, and German, and maybe some French links as well. That's what I would really, really focus on for whatever Bundesliga players you're buying. Make sure they have one of those good badges from the most popular teams because those are the players that everybody wants to use um, in this squad. I think this Mukiele is another card people have been talking about investing in. Uh, what is he? 280,000 coins, it looks like. 290. How much has he been? Wow, he was 260 all of last week. So, I mean, if you saw this guy at like 270, I could be interested in this guy at like 270-ish. Uh, but it looks like he's just continually rose through the weekend. And he was 270s yesterday. Monday, he was 260s. Wow, so he was 260, 270. He's already up 20,000 coins, which is um, double what his tax amount is almost. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe this guy at like 275 might be a buy. If you see small undercuts like that today, that's what we're really looking for. Like the small, you know, maybe 5 to 10% drops in price because that gives us an opportunity to get in. The price will then rebound right back to where it was. 
and you're covering your tax. And then after that, it's just all weekend league hype and the rise into the weekend league. And then we're good to go. Basically with the Bundesliga cards, again, this weekend, I would focus primarily on Bundesliga, like 90%. If you wanted to mess around with Serie A, because supposedly Serie A is coming next, you could do a little bit of Serie A, kind of messing around, looking at the market. And what I would do again is, it's tough to say what's really gonna go up because again, um, a lot of times the Serie A stuff starts to go up the weekend before now. You know, this Teo Hernandez card, the foot birthday, is one that interests me a ton. He was like 215K. It looks like he's still around like the 220 mark maybe um for for this Teo Hernandez I'm really interested in him for for Serie A team this season um but this guy's probably going to go from 215 to, to like 230 240 this weekend just based on hype because people are going to start buying the bonus the Serie A cards because of that is the next league that is coming supposedly if that changes then you'd see league one stuff go up um but that's something that you could get into if you wanted I don't mind this card to be honest that much because this is one of the Serie A cards that I feel like would maintain his value decent a decent amount just because of his French links. Even if there is another cheap left back that is OP that comes out inside of uh, Serie A team of the season, uh, I still think this guy would maintain his price decently well. Just look around the market for other cards. I'm telling you right now, the position changes are still big. And that's why these shapeshifters, this Alaba was 130, 140. He's up 20K. That's crazy. Um... But like this Ronaldo, I'm really, really interested to watch this Ronaldo card this week with the position change, the right wing. He's 1-3. I think he was actually a little bit lower than this on like Monday morning, Sunday night. I'm pretty sure I saw one at like 1-3 like low, like low 1-3. This is going to be an interesting card to watch. Again, it's kind of like a position change. Um, oh, somebody else had a team this season when they had their other card was a position change. I forget who it was. There was a card that had a position change card. It was a shapeshifter, I think, or I forget what it was. Mares. Mares had a right wing team of the season, but his cam card during Prem Tots went absolutely nuts, right? I think the same similar thing could happen with Ronaldo, also with Ben Yedder during League Un Tots, even at all. So just kind of watch on that kind of stuff. And, you know, the position changes are really, really interesting. This Hate Bauer card is one of the only right back special cards in Syria. So if you're starting to mess around with Syria, this guy's up like 10K, it looks like. But maybe like 140k, which were, he was 140k at one point today. Looks like people really started to buy up cards today. The only reason why I'm still on Tain, you guys, to wait and not why I, I didn't give you the green light is just because of all the icon, the hype, you know, what is actually going to be coming out with this icon stuff today. And um, is there going to be panic selling? Is there going to be something big? Because if there is, then we don't want to miss the boat and uh, possibly. Be able to buy it at a better time if that is so but if there is not a better time and stuff really doesn't start to move today and you see prices still around the same prices where they were just try to find some undercuts some open bids because stuff is then seriously going to start to rise into the evening that is a nice buy right there i'll take a lucas hernandez for 143 and this is the stuff that you can seriously do right pick five six seven players that you want to look at and just go look around on the market you will find undercuts like this happening every so often. All it takes is somebody one click or one miss on the number instead of like putting 150 to put 140 and then boom, you have yourself a deal right there. I'm already could sell that card for profit because of the tax is like 7,500 coins and that was a 10K undercut. So I can already make profit on that card. I know it's a good price for him. Just look around the market on a lot of this stuff, man. And again, if you see the panic this morning because of whatever it is in icons, you might see a rebound because of that. And then look at your Bundesliga cards. Look at your Serie A cards. That's seriously what I would focus on the most today. Honestly, if anything comes out for Icon Refresh, you know, people were looking to see if there was an SBC in the code for Footwatch, right? I don't think they have to add. If there was going to be a Prime Icon Upgrade SBC that came out today, I don't think they would have to add that to the code because... That's already in the code from icon swaps, right? That is already in the code. So technically, I don't think they would have to add that in. So that could drop today just randomly. I don't think it's going to happen. But supposedly the icon refresh is happening on FIFA Mobile today. Um, I, I seriously don't know what's going to be going on with that. I literally have no leaks. Look around Twitter if you want to look into some of that stuff. There are, are guys on Twitter that have some, some leaks, I guess. But honestly, we're just going to wait until 6 p.m. UK today. See what happens. 
and then we'll move on from there. Hopefully the guaranteed SBC, maybe something for Icon Refresh, and maybe a player SBC? I mean, I still feel like we're doing one more player SBC for those cards today. But again, if you're wanting to buy any of these TOTS um, Bundesliga cards, like let's say you want to buy a Lewandowski or you want to buy like a Royce, right? Again, I think I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but you want to you want to get on these guys today, in my opinion, especially if there's nothing that comes out in the game that is hype, nothing cool, nothing new. Um, for the content wise, I do think you will see this card start to rise up as people maybe buy them for their teams, especially the rare ones, Lewandowski, Werner, Sancho, Halan. Those are guys are kind of hyped up. Uh, even Davies, 420k, Upamecano, Nabry. Um, those would be the types of guys that I would expect to rise because they're the really usable ones and people want to get them in their squad. So that's what I would expect today on the market. It's kind of what I'm expecting, boys, as a whole. And I'm not expecting a lot of a lot of hype for Icon Refresh, to be honest with you. So, you know, just finagle around the market, you know, find yourself some deals, you know, kind of zip around, look for open bids, a cheeky open bid list on this a headliner Werner for 260, right? Like he's going for like even 305 for this card. I would consider you know, looking at some of these bids, look at those cheeky bids if it's late night, right? Late night, even um, tomorrow night or tonight before rewards come out, look for some of those bids, man, because a lot of times people miss those at the late night. And that's an opportunity for you to catch a card cheaper on an open bid than you would have been able to buy it for a buy it now. So that's something I think you guys can look at today and to be looking out for. Um, you saw the number uh, below 37. We have gotten four new team of the season cards. I spent about a million 1.3, 1.4 million on upgrades in the past two days. Tonight on stream, I packed four. I packed Davies, Hummels, Summer, and Hideki. So I'm technically in the negative in terms of coins. Um, and I'm probably not going to open any more of these Bundesliga upgrades until until Thursday when we get the premium upgrade because this player pick for me, man, it's really just not doing it for me. It's not doing very well. Other people are having fantastic luck. I'm just not having good luck with this. So I'm going to stop it there and then resume on thursday you might even see me on on thursday i'll buy a lot of my flips tomorrow and then maybe tomorrow night i'm going to start buying up a lot of rare golds from the other leagues just to have a bunch of rare golds ready to do a bunch of the premium upgrade sbc on thursday when that comes out because i really want to hammer that and i want to see the pack animation man the pack animation is the most exciting part about packing a tots except getting the insane card seeing it walk out of the pack it's way less um it's just anticlimactic to see uh, the player pick. All you see is like the shimmer of the, the outline of the card on one of the player picks, and then it pops up in front of you like, oh, sweet, pack to blue. I want to see the whole pack animation, the pack animation, you know? That's what I want to see. So I'm looking forward to that on Thursday as well. That's kind of my plan for these next two days. Watch for some panic today on the market if you see it. Wait until 6 p.m. UK to take some action if you see actual panic because that would mean to me that there could be something big coming and more panic could come after. Watch out for those specials, Serie A and the Bundesliga. And then um, good luck with your guaranteed TOTS SBC if you're going to be doing one of those as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.